Okay, welcome fifth graders to the solar system um, test review. Okay, here's some things that you're going to need to know for the test. First thing you need to know is that the solar system is made up of the sun and eight other planets. You're going to need to know the order of these planets from nearest to the sun to the farthest. We came up with a little story here in our class to help us remember. So make sure you're paying attention there at home. Okay, okay, mom's veggies enter my jiggly stomach until nighttime. Okay, once again, mom's veggies enter my jiggly stomach until nighttime. Okay, and these are the planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Mercury is the closest one to the Earth. Neptune is the one that is farthest away. So once again, the solar system includes the sun, as well as these eight wonderful planets, okay? You're also going to need to know some key vocabulary for the test, okay? You need to know that asteroids are rocks, okay, that fly in a regular pattern around the sun. So they're not just moving around all over the place, but they actually stay in a regular pattern as they're revolving around the sun, and they're rocks. These are called asteroids, okay? Now, when asteroids enter our atmosphere, they're actually called something different. Even though it's still rock, once it enters into our atmosphere, they're called meteors. Okay? So I, you can see there in your notes, I drew a little line for the atmosphere. Once the rock enters our atmosphere, they're called meteors now. No longer asteroids. Okay? So you need to know the difference between that. You also need to know that comets... Comets, different from asteroids, fly in irregular patterns around the sun. They kind of move all over the place. Comets are made up of dust, they're made up of ice chunkies, they're made up of rock, and they have a little tail behind them. Okay, Those are called comets. A um, couple other things too. You need to know the difference between a moon and a satellite. All right? now, a satellite is kind of a broader term. A satellite can be any object that circles around another object. Does the moon circle around another object? Well, yeah. Okay. I think the key thing there for satellite, the one that you're looking at here, this is a man-made object that circles around another object. And it receives signals. Like when you pick up your celly telly, your signal goes up to a satellite, and then it bounces down, and then it hits your friend. He says hello, that hello goes up, hits the satellite, and then comes through your device. Okay, those are satellites. Other things are called moons. These also go around objects, but moons in particular go around planets. All right, so that's the key difference there. You're also going to need to know telescopes. Okay, telescopes are tools used to see distant objects. All right, so those are some of the key things that you're going to need to know for the test. Once again, you need to know all the planets, their order. You need to know all some of these key vocabulary terms, asteroids, comets, telescopes, uh, meteors, and that sort of thing. So hopefully this uh, test review helped you while you're watching it at home. I hope you do great at the test. Remember, you can contact me on Edmodo. Go to Facebook or also go to the classroom website, click on the contact Mr. P button, and there's actually a little button there where you can reach me on my celly telly if you need me. All right, so hit me up sometime, and I look forward to seeing you guys in class. Later.